Hey guys, it's Zeno, and it's my turn to tell you about Light and Tokens Part 2. Is all that dynamic lighting stuff too rich for your blood? Well, let's just move over to Fog of War. Fog of War is just the much simpler version of dynamic lighting. Just turn that on, don't even mess with any other settings. You've got one tool that you need, the reveal, and sequentially the hide. You can reveal areas with just a click and a vision. Right now our players have checked out this room, they're gonna go through these doors here. Let's go reveal what's through the doors. Hey, it's a hallway. In fact, it's a hallway with a bunch of doors down here and a bunch of doors up here. I'm gonna turn the opacity for light all the way up. Um, there we go. Now, this is generally what the players would see. No matter what room that they're in, no, uh, no, yeah, no matter what room they're in, this is what the players will be able to see. Like moving a piece of paper off of a map that you've created. If you want to reveal an area that uh, is an odd shape, you can just click. And then right click to finish it off, boom. They've gone through that door. If you want to reveal little rooms as they look in through them, boom. It's super easy. And that's it. That's Fog of War. Uh, dark Vision doesn't work because that only works with dynamic lighting. But if you were to say, um, just mess with the vision aspect of it so that they can only see so far and they can't see around corners, that's totally applicable. Uh, just mess with the settings in the tokens for how far they, or for like, has sight, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But that's the quick and easy version. It's dirty, it's fast, and it's not complicated at all. Notice how much shorter this tutorial is. It's your turn. Just use Fog of War if you don't want to fuck with dynamic lighting. It's way easier. I'll see you guys, I'll see you next time when it's my turn.